God's servant, then he came out recently. There are some things I don't want to share publicly, but just, just prepare for certain news. Just prepare. How are you, my family? Welcome again to Direct TV, bringing to you the truth. Welcome, guys, to this special and wonderful episode of my video today. And right in today's video, guys, I'm here with the man of God by person of Prophet Joel Ogebe. And I want to sincerely thank the man of God, um, you know, Pastor Benny Hind, for, you know, what speaking out the truth, all right? And in my last video, if you didn't watch the last video, I did mention that you see that um, this issue about the man of God, Pastor Benny, coming out to say um, what he feels about what he, he, he said before or what he usually do, all right, is a testament of, you know, his work with God, all right. And that's exactly the same thing Prophet Joel Ogebe is actually saying here, all right. I know one of the things about um, Prophet Joel Ogebe is that, um, you know, that's why I, I like telling people, don't allow social media allow you or tell you how to feel about men of God. Uh, Prophet Joel Ogebe is a man of God that I usually love, I, I, or I love, all right. But, you know, due to a lot of, you know, critics on social media, you, you know, that time you might likely say he's a fake prophet, but you can see the word of God on his lips and know that it's true. Anyway, so I'd like you to watch, um, you know, um, what the man of God, Prophet Joel Ogebe said about um, Pastor Benny Hinn, and I'll be right back. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. God's servant, Benny Hinn, came out recently. There are some things I don't want to share publicly, but just, just prepare for certain news. Just prepare. I've seen it in the spirit. Early last year, or, or last two years. But you see, God's servant, Benny Hinn, came out. And as he progressed in his work with the Lord, he began to discover that there were certain things he believed he did when he was a much younger minister that today he has realized those things are not of God. And to show that Jesus is truly working in his life, he organizes a podcast with someone who obviously is not a Christian Christian is just a popular podcast and I don't know the person but he organizes a podcast and came out to be vulnerable not to the world but to the church his own brethren to show that Jesus is at work within him he comes out and tell you that there are things that he said he thought God was speaking to him but it turned out that he said those things from his mind and he wants to ask the precious body of Christ to forgive him. Now he didn't enumerate those things. But he realized. And I tell you that action is a product of his obedience to the Lord. Whatever, you know there are false prophets that if you like say anything about them. They love evil. They don't care about what you say. But for a man, let's say he heard your criticism. And he, go, he went back to reevaluating his life. And what you try to do from a malicious, what you try to do, sorry, from a malicious standpoint, God used it to help him. And then he comes out. Showing repentance publicly. Saying to you people that one of the worst things and one of the worst mistakes he has made was practicing the gimmickry of prosperity gospel. Mark the word gimmickry. What is the gimmick of prosperity gospel? God wants to give you jeep in five days. Run out with 10,000 error. Those are gimmicks. If the church have me, simply tell the people and let God move in the heart of everyone. I've been praying with this, my talit now for the past five years. If you have one million, run. We will have been mentored that way too until Jesus helped us. Because we will not know the larger portion of ministers, especially in Africa, do what they see being done, not what is revealed by the Holy Ghost. They see what is being done. They see the success is creating. That's why one of the worst you can do to yourself is to measure success by the amount of people gathering in your meetings. If it's by our standard today, Jesus had a, a failed ministry because when he was living at, his followers had reduced from tens of thousands to only 120 men. People, the Bible say a great amount of his disciples stopped following him. 
one came out i was saying you know my church is only 200 people that attend it forget that i'm just big on and this someone who calls himself a father our father who art in heaven if you are a prophet you will not lie to this generation so he repented for the gimmickry of the prosperity gospel that he practiced and came out and said let the church of jesus forgive him obviously he's not doing that anymore he's not practicing those things anymore so there are fruits of repentance if we have a need we tell you as god moves in your heart you give that's why in this church we don't compel anyone to pay tight i've taught you from the new testament perspective about tithing is it a good thing yes it's good if you live by the law you'll be judged by it a new testament believer believes that everything he has belongs to the lord so he gives as a nature not because he wants something in return yes i know there's a blessing in serving god however our service to god is out of love and love is not self-seeking yeshua said no greater love as a friend than this as a man than this that for him to lay his life down for his friend it's out of love so if i give even more than my 10 percent it's not because i'm keeping a record that we hold god and say god and i heard a father say if you give you will go to hell i said that's a lie he said you know but the bible say as a man rob god how will rob be in tight and offering it means no sir read it in context tithing or not tithing has no eternal implication to the saved christian they, show me just one place in the new testament scripture where jesus himself tithed or we are possible tithed or we are possible peter tithed the way we make it a big deal and they lie to people that it's actually the principle of success what kind of success the last time i read my bible it was satan who brought a transactional operation in the spirit he said if you buy to me i will give this but from jesus perspective he said you shall love the lord without serve him alone not minding whatever he gives to you there's no transaction you do it out of commandment and love so satan said if you bow to me i will give you this jesus can say no thou shalt worship the lord your god and only him shall thou serve he didn't say and after you serve him he will bless you no it's a command it has nothing to do with any opportunity i have or any opportunity i miss when we make the gospel transactional we begin to lie because we need more money to continue projects may god give understanding <laughs> okay all right guys now before you go further to watch what he later said about what should be done um or by the church for the man of god um pastor benihin all right i'd like to say this you have he had the explanation he gave all right about um you know the man of god pastor benihin and about titan all right or about giving entirely all right whether no matter what it is in giving whether you are giving to a particular thing in church or whatever it is it is not because god is going to give you back all right you, you can you know sometimes you can give based on um you know you want to expect something based on how god directs you all right but that doesn't change the fact that giving is an act of love you see so when you give to god is an act of your love and your testament of how much you love him and how much you bless him or he has blessed you see so that's exactly the man of god pastor ben um prophet joel Ogebi is trying to say here and i love what he's saying he's a man full of the word of god so i'd like you to just quickly um you know listen to um the next part of the video on what he said concerning what should be done about what the man of god pastor benny has said what is that right back so when i saw what happened to benny when i was looking at the interview i saw the way this man it took him a lot in fact in recent time he has made himself of no repute just because he wants to die a man who has pleased god at least he got the chance in his generation to repent from his mistake there are many god's generals that if they had time on it they would have also repented from their mistakes but guess what the same africans that learned that falsehood now that the man has repented they will not leave that falsehood because it is prospering and when they see that okay the wave is no longer there anymore they will come outside and then they will do charity now i speak as a man who practices charity me and my men here and the, we it's our life take time and go and read about love 
love is not self-seeking love is not easily offended there was something highlighted to me clearly he said love doesn't keep record of wrong he told me say your generation keeps records of wrong so they cannot practice love Jesus said if a man offends you 70 times in a day forgive him you the offense of 20 years ago the last time we checked that person who fell it is not you if he offended you he offended God you are the one that have carried it on your head don't hold privileged information or people's failure as evidences against them don't stop preaching truth but don't hold records of people's failure if people send it to you delete it from your phone you may be preaching truth but the moment your truth crosses into having or harboring a kind of malice for that person you've now become a preacher of error how are we together you don't hate people in Christ. You attack patterns sternly. Patterns that doesn't glorify God. You attack it sternly. However, if you see the people love them as Jesus loves them. Pray that Jesus helps you to see people how he sees them. The prophetess called Jezebel in, in Revelation. Jesus did immediately strike her. He said, I've given her ample time to repent Jesus did not expose her immediately patient with her how would the Lord of long suffering not exercise long suffering if we call most of the people they accused to us if we call them and only talk with them presenting most of the evidences people has given us say someone brought this to me I want to love you and I don't want this thing to stand in between what 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 is this thing true and then the brother if he asks christ he can break down and say it's true i did that in a moment of weakness and i've been asking god for mercy so okay i will pray i will pray with you don't worry about it then you restore that person in love also minding being careful that you too may be tempted what i'm saying doesn't mean don't preach truth what I'm saying doesn't mean don't attack error if someone is knowingly publicizing it. However, if people show signs of being reasonable, reason with them. There are many things I hear about certain men of God that I can reach, that I have talking relationship with. We talk about it. There are certain things there to heard about me. When they came close to me, that's when they discovered it was not true. When image is attacked, likeness we cease. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I especially give thanks to God for, you know, bringing this message across my way. All right. This is a message of love. Oh my goodness. You can't tell me you can't, you didn't listen to this and you were not blessed. You can't tell me that. All right. I'm sure you were blessed. All right. Because the thought that was being shared here is powerful. This is so powerful. All right. You know, there are a lot of Christians that, uh, like now, this um, um, Benihim um, issue now, I'm sure a lot of people have saved the video and said, let him come out again. I'm going to show him this video. All right. But look at what he said. So powerful. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and, you know, when I'm saying, oh, my goodness, like, like this, I want to just specially thank the man of God, um, Prophet Joel Ogebe, for what he's doing and for, you know, believing in the truth and for speaking the truth of the word of god all right all right so christians need to walk in love they need to learn how to walk in love all right they need to learn how to walk in love because you know some of the reason why many christians or you see a christian backslide most some of them is always because nobody believed in them or nobody uh, forgave them for the mistake they did nobody nobody forgave them so it is um you can make a christian's backslide all right because he feels the church is against him and then he also talk about the fact that you're giving you see you're giving is an act of love 
if it comes from the position of the act of love that is when you are truly giving all right i really believe you are blessed and i'd love to hear from you what has blessed you and for those of you coming very nearly to my channel just can leave the subscribe button and subscribe to this channel and if you have not liked the video hit the like button like today's video guys and i'll see you in my next video bye